Summer is the best time for traveling. And as parents, we love to expose our kids to as many opportunities as possible. So this summer, whether you are traveling physically or you just want to travel through a good book, Usborn has you covered. I want to start out with two of our fantastic resources for going on a plane. The first is going to be our 100 Things to Do on a Plane, which is a small activity book packed full of puzzles, doodles, and drawings to help time fly on any plane journey. This is going to be a little $5.99 book that you can keep in your purse um, and your kids can, or your kids can slip into their backpack and they can have plenty of activities, screen-free activities to keep them busy on their next plane ride. So definitely check this out if you are going on a trip sometime soon. Also, we have Look Inside an Airport, part of our Look Inside Flap series from Usborne. So many flaps to lift to learn about the airport, to find out what happens with the baggage and, and what are they screening for and how does that all work um, and what's going on when they're um, preparing the plane and I can't get on yet and who are all these workers and what do they do? It just answers so many great questions. This is gonna be a very durable book and of course, um, Usborne is just known for their flat books and they are known for making, making nonfiction very appealing to children. So we want our children to love nonfiction books because we know that much of their learning in the future is going to be through nonfiction. We also have a book called My First Reference Book About Our World. What makes it rain? How many oceans are there? So this is just a great um, first reference book to teach, the, teach your children about the world around them. Um, this is going to be a great resource for kindergarten, first grade students, where they can learn about the grasslands, they can learn about deserts, they can find out about um, just different animal habitats, and it's just a really great um, resource for a young child to, to begin to introduce them to the big, beautiful world around them. Speaking of the big, beautiful world, we have the Atlas and Jigsaw Puzzle. This has a 300-piece puzzle as well as an Atlas picture book that it comes with um, that's going to... Um, be a little bit um, challenging so you could totally do this with an older elementary student if you wish but you could also work on it as a family it's going to come with this atlas of the world picture book where your kids can open it up and learn about northern africa the different um, countries and different animals that are um, that live there you can learn about them southern africa you can learn about western asia and every other continent so this is the Atlas Picture Puzzle and Book. Two activities books for you. We have the Flag Sticker Book and the Map Activity Pad. The Flag Sticker Book is going to show you um, the national flag of every country in the world and you are going to um, find out um, where each country goes on each continent. So in the middle you have all the flags that they will peel off and that they will then stick to these pages, they will put the date that that flag was established, and so they're gonna to learn to recognize all the different flags of the world. You can also use this book as um, to keep track of which flags you have seen. So this could be a really great um, resource to keep in your home and let your kids kind of um, learn as they go and explore different countries, they could put stickers on that um, book. Then we have the Maps Activity Pad, which is a wonderful activity pad um, with perforated pages that tear right out. Um, they are going to teach your child how to use a map. It, of course, teaches them how to use a map key. It teaches them um, how to read a map. And so it's got all kinds of activities to do on each page. And this is going to be a really great uh, activity for your kids to do, whether you're on a road trip this summer or you, again, are on a plane or maybe you just need some time at home and you need for them to be learning something, you could roll out the Maps Activity Pad. It's a great resource for our elementary age kids. We also have this really fun book called 50 States in Every Vehicle. This one is a fantastic book for road trips because it's all about a family that's taking a road trip through all the different states and um, they get to see, here's my home state, they drive through Virginia and they get to um, take a peek at the White House when they go through Washington, D.C. So it just talks about lots of different landmarks that are in every single state and what it would be like to go through every state in every vehicle. So they're traveling by boat, by camper, by truck, by train, by bicycle, 
and they are making their way through all 50 states. So definitely want to get your hands on this one for any road trips that you have planned um, this coming summer. I also pulled this one because it is a book all about the world, the religions of the world. This is a brand new release from Usborne, um, another gorgeous Lift the Flat book. If you are new to Usborne and you have not seen our Lift the Flat books, you are in for a treat. We have many, many, many Lift the Flat books. These are not just for younger children. These are older children. Love these as well. Um, you can truly um, use these books with very young children and just read them a few um, pages or a few little captions or you can have an older child read this entire book and learn all about the religions of the world. It's just a great reference point so that you have something to use when you're trying to explain um, to, to kids that the world is very, it's very diverse and there are lots of different people um, that believe many different types of things. So it's just a great reference book and it's of course beautifully illustrated as always and very high quality um, durable pages. We also have Here and There, which is going to teach your children all about the different cultures and customs. It's going to teach your children about many different cultures and many different countries and how people do things in different places. How do people play outdoors in Norway? What are playgrounds like there? How do people travel to school? I found out that in Venezuela, kids actually travel to school in something that looks like a ski lift because it's not safe for them to travel um, by car or by, by foot. So we learned so much when we read this book on our road trip. Our kids learned that not everybody um, like takes a bus to school. They learned different chores that kids have to do that they don't have to do. This is a great reference point for introducing the concept of cultures um, to your children. Now last but certainly not least is my favorite new title, the State Capitals book. This is a very nice, large book that would be fantastic for any elementary school teacher. You are going to learn all about the state capitals. You are going to learn all about each state and some unique things about it, like the state flower, the state bird. Um, you are going to learn um, how to read the key to the map that's on every page. Um, you are going to just really enjoy learning more about the capitals and delving into this topic through our brand new State Capitals book. I hope you enjoy exploring and adventuring with your kids this summer. If you can't go anywhere, remember you can always go somewhere when you're reading a great book.